Smoother landings at over 100 airports in Europe, satellite-based navigation that will save millions of tonnes of carbon dioxide each year, and sustainable biofuels being used in commercial flights. Just some of the major outcomes of the 2009 Global Aviation and Environment Summit here in Geneva. Because in the last couple of days, leaders of the aviation industry worldwide have been charting a way forward to dramatically reduce flying's impact on climate change. The summit featured nearly 400 delegates from over 40 nations representing airports, airlines, air traffic control, governments, environmental groups and, for the first time, biofuel suppliers. We're really impressed with the level of attendance and, and the, the number of delegates that have turned up. As everybody knows, the industry is going through probably one of the worst crises it's been through in many, many years. And I think the testament of the fact that so many people have come to an environment and aviation conference is, is proof that environment is still very much top of the agenda for the aviation industry. Keynote speakers from every part of the industry brought unique perspectives and announcements on a range of environmental topics. Working side by side with our member airlines, IATA's green teams identified savings between 3 and 12% on fuel consumption. Climate change is not the only element of environmental sustainability in which airports are involved. In addition to actions that generate energy savings and increase the usage of alternative fuels, Airports are expected to take action on a wide spectrum of environmental solutions. It should also be a clear objective of policymakers and public authorities to help our industry deliver the technological results that will be needed if tomorrow's challenges are to be met. The aviation industry produced around 670 million tonnes of carbon dioxide last year, while this is only 2% of the global total of 34 billion tonnes of CO2 produced by humans annually, all parts of the industry have committed to reducing that impact even further. Among the initiatives announced at the summit was the plan to implement a continuous descent approach, or CDA, at over 100 airports across Europe. Continuous descent approaches are important because it's a new way of approaching airports. It's a smooth descent into the airport. Traditionally, we've done so in steps. And today's technology allows us to, in a high volume area, descend to the airport in a very smooth, low engine approach. So it's minimum fuel use. That was not possible in the past. The airline industry is used to the ups and downs of their business, but a recurring theme at this summit was how to keep the environment at the top of the agenda. Well, we've got to, in simple terms, uh, we've got to demonstrate to people that even in these tough environment uh, conditions, we're determined to improve our performance. And interestingly, research has shown us that consumers will be more likely to spend their money with companies that continue to invest and spend money on their environmental performance in these difficult times. So I think there's every reason to do it. The green stuff inside this bottle is algae, the tiny plants that live in ponds and waterways all over the world. And it's perhaps not the obvious choice if you were looking for an alternative aircraft fuel to develop. But from algae, you can extract oil, and oil powers a jet engine and the jet aircraft of the future. Sounds like fantasy? Well, it's already being tested. I think we'll get uh, biofuels in the commercial flight in the next three to five years. Some of the obstacles are uh, supply of uh, plant oils. And then finally, uh, the fuel specification to get him approved, fully approved as safe and secure forms. And uh, I think we're well on the way on, on most of that, but uh, you know, some questions to be answered. We know that it's going to work. The real issue is how this biofuel industry will uh, be able to organize itself in order to, to deliver sufficient quantities for aviation to use them. But really, that's a very, very promising way to improve our environmental footprint. Another hot topic for delegates this year has been ways of maximising efficiency so that flights using existing fuel are as low impact as possible. One of the most exciting things coming up today is for me the gear turbofan as a new engine generation, which has the biggest potential to improve the economical 
and ecological uh, efficiency of new aircraft. Perhaps the overriding theme in this year's summit has been the need for cooperation. Airports working with airlines, aircraft manufacturers working with air traffic control, and above all, a coordinated approach by the whole industry towards a common goal, reducing emissions. The aviation industry says it's doing what it can to cut emissions, but called on governments to increase research funding to speed up the development of new technologies, in particular the huge potential of biofuels.